Hey guys, so today I actually have a BGS returns rather than a PSA returns, uh, which is a first for me. Um, it's been a minute since I made my last video also. Um, it's been a, f a few things that have stopped me making videos like I used to. Um, first and foremost is work. I've really been... been busy at work but as of past two weeks it's been really quiet with the lockdown and whatnot um second of all i've not really been having any cards come in which i've not really shown on camera before so i just thought it, instead of my videos being repetitive um i'd rather not show the same cards over and over again like i've had a uni car a uh, couple of tropical winds come through since my last video. Um, I think there was a trophy Kangas Khan as well, but um, not really made a video on it. Uh, but today I've actually had some cards come in. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown a couple of them before, but then BGS cases now, so I thought it's worth showing them off. As you can see in the background, also. I've purchased a master's key which I will be sending off to PSA Touchwood on Monday as they are accepting quicker orders rather than bulk so I will send that off alongside two bulk orders that I managed to fill out I think it was last week if not the week before so I called PSA up and they were willing to accept the bulk order um, but just warned me that they won't be processing it anytime soon but that's fine with me so touch wood um, that master's key may be graded within the next week or two um, so fingers crossed for that and as for the other cards Neo Genesis has been a bit popular as of late so I've got two Japanese Typhlosions in the background as well so the first card is a telephone card which I purchased I think about two three years ago and it's from the first Pokemon movie Mewtwo Strikes Back I actually have a B2 size post of this exact artwork as well hanging in my um, storage at work and it received a pristine 10 grade just a 0.5 away from the black label which would have looked awesome with this card i'm not exactly sure how they figured out um it's going to be a 9.5 rather than a 10 because the centering looks pretty much perfect to me i'm not sure where it's off by but there you go and as with all telephone cards you have the scratch part there so you would scratch that off I presume and put it into a telephone machine in Japan it's the same as with the tropical mega battle um, legendary birds as well they all have the same back but yeah Super happy with that grade. But would have loved the black label with the artwork on this. And BGS cards come in a, like a flimsy sleeve. So put it back in there. Next up, I'm pretty sure I've shown this off in one of my videos. But it is a Celebi telephone card from what movie is it pokemon forever i think which featured celebi and this also received a pristine 10 just a 0.5 from the black label this one i was pretty sure would get docked on the surface as there are some faint faint really faint scratches on the surface so but definitely looks awesome just look how those colors change I've probably owned this for a good six, seven years now, so super happy.
and these are the back as well. The next phone card is definitely my most favourite one as it features Ho-Ho and Lugia and it got a pristine 10 also same again uh, 0.5 off based on centering but not sure how they figure that out this was released in 2000 and it was through the Famitsu magazine and if I'm not mistaken it is a lottery prize item so you had to send something in, um, fill a form out and you would win this I think that's the logo for Famitsu and as you can see it is actually textured not the whole card, um, just the ho ho and the Lugia itself So definitely super nice. Um, you rarely see these uh, up for sale anymore in Japan. Um, I think the last one I saw up for sale was at least two years ago now. Um, well, yeah, definitely the best looking one. I think this is at least a um, year before the Neo 4 um, Shinings came out with the textured artwork so this outdates the texture use in TCG so definitely super nice super happy with the grades also shout out to Ludkins as um, he helped me grade these with BGS um, I did message him originally and then he did tell me that he's planning on sending some personal cards so we just went on went on to go and do a 50-50 type thing and just split the shipping and all the costs and we got our cards graded so special thanks to him next up is a set I actually found in a collection I bought roughly two years ago it was a big collection from Australia um, at the time I took all the Japanese cards out and I left all the English cards in the binders and a few months ago um, I just went through the binders and I noticed something different about these four cards and these are the 1999 Pokemon movie promos by the looks of it they all got 9.5 grade but what is special about these is it does not feature the stamp at all not on the top or at the bottom so they're definitely not the inverted versions and they don't feature a stamp at the top either there have been a couple of copies that have surfaced with a light imprint of the stamp but um, having a zero stamp version it rarely pops up um, as far as I know um, TCA Gaming actually owns a Mewtwo um, if I remember correctly someone told me he traded a base Charizard first edition a PSA 6 or 7 for it um, I think he's copy graded like a 6.5 with BGS as PSA wouldn't grade these I did send these to PSA originally and they just sent it back because um, it didn't have this stamp so these came back and then I went through BGS for these um, as you can see it's got a 9 for centering a 9.5 for corners 9.5 for edges and a 10 for the surface 
is the back of it. Got quite a bit of dust on there. So there you can see some whitening there. So that's why it got the nine. But they're in super good condition. Um, I tried to message a few people. A few people did get back to me saying um, because originally uh, I just posted on Instagram to say is this common and a lot of people messaged back saying it was not common for the English cards not to feature a stamp as only the European copies uh, were released without the stamp uh, next up here's the Dragonite got 9.5 gem mint got 9.5 all around so definitely a very nice copy I also messaged D Persen, David Persen, for those who you know, um, he's got one, if not the largest English collection, um, that includes sets, promos, you name it, he'll have it, and didn't surprise me, he did tell me that he owned a set of these, um, he told me that he's never actually seen another complete set. Um, since he's purchased his, until I messaged him of course, but um, he does consider these highly on the list because considers them high on the list for English promos as it's not something you see often. There's rarely any talk about these but they do exist. Um, he put them down to being something that is pre-production rather than an error where cards just slip through without being stamped. It's something that might have left the factory prior than the stamping process. Um, here's the Mewtwo, also got 9.5, 9 on the centering, 9.5 corners, 9.5 edges and a 10 on the surface so I'm still looking for information about these if someone has anything more please send me a message either on eBay or Instagram or whatever um, I'll definitely be interested in know, um, getting to know what you know <laughs> um, here's the Electabuzz um, this got Quad Plus I believe that's what you call it when you get a 10 and 9.5 on the other three so definitely super nice copy and 9.5 all around but yeah if you got any information about these um and it is the no stamp version rather than a light imprinted version which i would presume there might be more out there of those rather than a complete no stamp um, you definitely see more inverted copies um, but with inverted copies when the first couple came out no one had ever seen them before and then loads of them came out the woodwork so I'm not sure if it'll be the same with these but either way it's definitely a unique thing to come across in a collection purchase he did have loads of other error cards um, so I've kept all the English cards and when I get a chance I'll definitely go through those binders again to see if I see anything else. But yeah guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's been quite a while since the last one but yeah, touch wood when that Masters Key comes back. Um, I've got some cards coming in from Japan. I may make another video. But yeah. Keep safe guys and I'll hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching.